So let's start with the prayer. Join your palms in front of your chest. Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karvavahai, Tejas Vinavadhi Tamastu, Ma Vitishavahai, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Rub your palms together, generate some heat, place your palms on top of your eyes, and then slowly looking through the gaps of your fingers, open your eyes with a big smile. Hello, are you guys ready for the yoga class? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> So now we're going to do our pranayama. You can sit uh, in Vajrasana the way that I'm sitting, or you can sit in the easy pose in Sukhasana the way I was sitting before. Okay, so how we're going to do this is you can actually um, make a fist in front of your shoulders, right? And then when you breathe in, you're going to breathe in forcefully and you're going to lift up your hands and open your hands. And then you're going to breathe out and forcefully again and bring your hands in front of your shoulders again, uh, hands in fists. And you're just, so we're going to do 15, uh, 15 times and three rounds, okay? So close your eyes and let's start. Now you're breathing into your nose or mouth? In and out through your nose. Okay, wait, let me just quickly mute you so this won't be. Okay, so breathing in and out through your nose. Let's start. And relax your hands, keep your eyes closed. Now let's do our second round. Make the fists in front of in front of your shoulders. Breathe in and out through your nose forcefully. Let's do it. Last round, keep, make the fists in front of your shoulders. Let's start. And relax. Breathe normally now. Now slowly sit in Sukhasana. And we are going to do a cooling pranayama now. So it's summer here and I think in most places. So in summer, especially when it gets really hot, this pranayama actually helps you to cool your body down. So it's very similar to the Nadi Shodhana that we did last time. So what you're going to do is your left hand is going to be chin mudra, which is basically you are joining your index finger with your thumb and you place it facing upwards on your left thigh. And then your right hand is in Vishnu mudra. So your first two fingers fold 
and they touch the base of your thumb. And then you're going to use your thumb and your ring finger on your nose to breathe in and out. All right, so you're going to place your thumb on the right nostril and press the right nostril and breathe through the left in. And then we're going to do the count of five in and five out. So you're going to breathe in through the left nostril for the, uh, to the count of five. And then you're going to breathe out through the right to the count of five. And then you're going to breathe again through the left nostril to the count of five and breathe out through the right, pushing, uh, pressing the left nostril with your ring finger, okay? So this is called Chandra Bhedna. This is a cooling pranayama. This is a little bit different from Nari Shodha because you're not going to breathe in through the right. You're only breathing in through the left and only breathing out through the right. Okay, should we start? So breathe, uh, press the right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through the left nostril to the count of five. So breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, and press the left nostril with your ring finger and breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. This is one round, let's do six rounds. So press the right nostril with your thumb, breathe in through the left nostril, one, two, three, four, five, breathe out through the right, one, two, three, four, five. Continue on your own. Make this your last round. Breathe in through the left and out through the right. And then relax your hand and place your hand on your thigh, eyes closed. Observe the calmness of your mind. This breathing technique is designed to activate your parasympathetic nervous system and it really helps to calm your body down. And now rub your palms together, place them on your eyes, observe the darkness, observe the calmness of your mind. Breathe in and breathe out, and then slowly open your eyes. Amazing. So now we are going to do warm ups. So let's just do some joint rotations. So place your palms on your chest. This actually helps to really uh, lengthen your neck. And then look up and look down. Breathe in when you look up and breathe out when you look down. One more time. Now let's do really slow head rolls. So breathe in, roll your head towards your back. And as you breathe out, bring your head forward. One. Two. Now the other side. Okay, now place your hands on top of your shoulders. Let's do shoulder rolls. So you're going to touch your elbows together in front of your chest and then breathe in and bring your elbows up, roll them around. And then as you breathe out, bring them in front. So 
two. Again, last one, three. Now let's do this in the other direction. So go downwards, breathe in as you go back and then breathe out as you bring your arms forward. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now let's do wrist uh, rotations. So uh, make fists in front of your chest. One, two, three. This is very good, especially before doing lots of planks and things like that, because it activates your, warms up your wrist joints. Now um, let's do the rest of our warm up standing up. So stand up and now let's do a side bend. So place your left hand on your hip and bend towards your left side. Look up, breathe in and come up and then let's do this on the other side. Breathe in up, breathe out, bend, breathe in up, and breathe out, bend to the side, okay? Now, uh, touch your feet, so bend forward and touch your feet, and keep your, keep your legs apart, keep your legs sort of shoulder width apart, and then bend down, and touch your feet. And you want to touch your left foot first and then in the middle and then right. And then in the middle and then left. Let's do this five times. Right, middle, left. Right, middle, right, middle, left. Middle, right middle, left. And make this your last one. So come to the middle, right, middle, and left. Very good. Now let's do our lift up your right leg. Place your hands under your thigh and interlock them. And then rotate your leg three times in clockwise and then three times in clockwise. Very good. And then do the same with your foot. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Let's do this on the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then with your foot, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Very good. Okay, so now let's come down the table. Let's do cat and cow. So breathe in, bring your chest down, look up to the ceiling, tailbone up and as you breathe out tuck your tailbone in and roll your shoulders and look down breathe in look up breathe out look down roll your shoulders breathe in look up tuck. breathe out Tuck your tailbone, roll your shoulders. Okay, very good. Come into child pose. And then slowly move your hands while you're in the child pose, move both your hands towards your right.
Breathe in and breathe out. And then breathe in and come in the middle and let's do this on the left side. Breathe in, come in the middle, come back to table and tuck your toes and come into downward facing dog. And then take two big steps and come forward, come into forward fold. Breathe in and breathe out. And then as you breathe in, come up, join your palms, bring your palms up and then come into Namaskara. Very good. Now, keep your hands together and then come into uh, bring your hands up, arch your back, look up. And then as you breathe out, come down, forward fold, hands next to your toes. And then breathe in, bring your right leg back, place your knee on the floor. And breathe out, bring your left leg back, come into downward facing dog. Breathe in, come into table. And as you breathe out, put your knees on the floor and then slowly bending down, keep your hips up and place your chest and your chin on the floor. Come into Ashtanga. And come, bring your chest up, keeping your abdomen on the floor. Come into the Cobra Pose, Bhujanga, and breathe out. Come back into Downward Facing Dog. And then breathe in, bring your right leg forward. Come to Ashwasanchalana. Breathe out, bring your left leg forward, come into Forward Fold, Padhastasana. Breathe in, bring your hands up, join your palms and look up to the ceiling, arch your back. Breathe out, bring them into Namaskara. Let's do this on the other side. Breathe in, bring your hands up, arch back. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, bring your left leg back into Ashwasanchalana. Breathe out, bring your right leg back into downward facing dog. Breathe in, bring your, come forward into plank pose. Breathe out, place your knees on the floor and then slowly place your chest and your chin on the floor, keeping your hips up. Ashtanga, breathe in. Slowly come forward and lift up your chest. Come into Cobra Pose. Breathe out, come back into Downward Facing Dog, Adhimukha. Breathe in, bring your left leg forward. And breathe out, bring your right leg forward. Come into Forward Fold, Padans Basma. Breathe in, come up. Hasta Uttana, breathe out, come into Namaskara. Now breathe in, come into Hasta Uttana, lift up your arms, look up. Breathe out, come into forward fold. Breathe in, bring the right leg back. Place your knee on the floor, Ashwasanchalana. And then lift your chest up, Place your hands on your knee and push your pelvis down and just sort of push your chest backwards, arch your back. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your hands on the floor. Come back into Ashwasanchalana. Breathe out. Come into Downward Facing Dog, Adhamukha. Breathe in, come into plank. 
read out chaturanga so instead of placing your knees you can place your knees on the floor if you want but if you can handle this then come into chaturanga so slowly go down and lift up your chest come into upward facing dog urdhva mukha breathe in and as you breathe out come back into downward facing dog now bring your right leg forward ashvasan chalana place your knee on the mat and lift up your chest breathe in arch your back and push down your pelvis this is a very good hip opening asana breathe in bring your hands down breathe out left leg forward forward fold breathe in bring your arms up come back into hastasana breathe out come into namaskara breathe in arms up hands together hastasana breathe out come into forward fold padma hastasana breathe in left leg back come into ashvasan chalana place your knee on the mat and then as you just push your body back and you'll feel this stretch in your legs so uh straighten up your right leg as you push your body backwards this is a very good stretch for your hamstrings and your calves and then breathe in come forward into ashvasan chalana and then as you breathe out straighten up your right leg and come bring your body backwards let's do this one more time breathe in come back into ashvasan chalana breathe out bring your body backwards and try to go as close to your knee as possible and try to straighten up your leg as much as possible breathe in come back into ashvasan chalana and breathe out come into downward facing dog breathe in come to plank breathe out chaturanga breathe in lift your body up if possible you can also lift up your um legs your thighs off the mat and then breathe out come into downward facing dog take a little rest here two breaths and then breathe in bring your left leg forward place your knee on the mat breathe in and then as you breathe out straighten up your leg moving your hips backward and try to reach for your knee breathe in come into ashvasan chalana breathe out bring your body backwards breathe in come into ashvasan chalana again breathe out bring your body backwards and straighten up your leg keep your uh, to, uh your foot active when you're in this pose breathe in come into ashvasan chalana and as you breathe out bring your right leg forward come back into forward fold breathe in bring your hands up look up to the ceiling arch your back hastasana breathe out namaskar okay breathe in hastasana lift up your arms hands together breathe out forward fold breathe in bring your right leg back ashvasan chalana so here what you're going to do is you're going to place your heel on the mat keep your knee off the um off the mat very good so you're going to place your heel on the mat and then come into virabhadra one warrior one 
and then come into warrior two. So you want to keep your arms in line with your legs, with your feet, and look towards your left hand. And then slowly, what you're going to do next is you're going to place your left elbow on your left knee and raise your right arm upwards and look up to the ceiling. If you can, you can also place your hand on the floor and stretch it above your head. Stretch your right hand above your head. Okay, breathe in, come up, straighten your leg. Keep your hands in line with your feet. And then as you breathe out, just uh, bend forward with your, and place your left hand on the mat next to your left leg. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe in and come up. And then come down into Ashwasan Chalana. So half lunge. And then let's go into downward facing dog. Breathe in, come into plank. Breathe out, Chaturanga. Breathe in. Lift your body upwards, lift your thighs off the mat if possible, otherwise keep them on the mat. Upward facing dog. Breathe out. Into downward facing dog, Adumukha. Let's do this on the other side. So breathe in, bring your right foot forward and keep your foot, uh, you know, just place your left heel on the mat. So you're going to keep your knee off the mat. I'll just turn this way so you guys can see me. So keeping your knee off the mat, come into be the other one. Warrior one. And then come into warrior two. So hands in line with your feet, look forward. And then bend your right arm, place your right elbow on your right leg. Look up to the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. If you can, if this is too easy, you can also place your hand on the floor and stretch your arm above your head. And then come up as you breathe in, straighten your leg. And then as you breathe out, come down, keeping your leg straight, place your right hand in front of your right leg. Look up to the ceiling. Trikonasana. And then slowly, Come back into Ashwasan Chalana. Just turn your body around. Place your knee on the mat. Come into half lunge. I'll turn back. The other side. Okay. And then as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, come back into downward facing dog. Come to plank and slowly go down into Chaturanga as you breathe out. Breathe in, come to upward facing dog. Breathe out, come to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Breathe in, come to plank. And as you breathe out, come to Chaturanga and lie down on the mat. Now we're going to do Vimanasana, the airplane pose. And we're going to do 10 reps in this. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your arms, your palms next to your hips, uh, palms facing downwards. 
and then as you breathe in you're going to lift your body lift your chest up and then as you breathe out you're going to place your chest down and your head down on the mat so let's do 10 of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and hold and release very good now place your palm keep your palms facing downwards next to your hips and then slowly just place them under your thighs and keep your legs together now we're going to do our shalabhasana so you're going to lift up one thigh at a time and we're going to do five reps on each side so lift up your thigh and place it down so we'll do uh, our right leg first and then we'll do left and place your chin on the mat looking forward ready so let's do this one two three four and five very good let's do this on the other side one two three four and five awesome now come back to table and come into shishwasana Take a few breaths here and then come back to table. And then we're going to do some sitting asana. So sit on your, on top of your heels. So come into Vajrasana. And then you can just open up your legs in front of you and sit in Dandasana. So now let's do Janu Shishasana. So take your uh, right leg and place your right foot again next to your left thigh and breathe in lift up your arms as you breathe out bend forward and hold your foot if possible and try to place your head on your knee if that's not possible then you can also just hold on to your uh, thigh and the point is just keep your back straight. So it needs to be as straight as possible. So bend as, for, as much as you can, keeping your back straight. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and come up. Breathe out and release. Let's do this on the other side. Breathe in, as you breathe out, keeping your back straight, bend forward. Try to reach for your toes, for your feet. Keeping your back straight. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, try to go closer to your, to your knee. Try to bring your head closer to your knee. Breathe in and come up and breathe out, release. Now let's do knock asana. So place your hands behind your hips, and lift yourself up, lift your legs up into boat pose. Keep your back straight. And now let's do. You're going to reach with one leg first 
and bring it back. And then you're going to reach with the other leg and bring it back. Let's do 10 on each leg. Sorry. So that would be 20 altogether. So let's do it. Blue. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. And we will do this one more time. Okay, let's do it again. So come into boat pose. Uh, really tighten up your core. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Come back into Dandasana. Now, lift, uh, so what you're going to do now is take your left foot under your right leg and place it next to your hip. And then place your right foot next to your knee, next to your left knee on the other side. And you're going to place your right hand behind your back. And then, you can just hold on to your right knee and push yourself back, or you can place your elbow on the other side of the right knee. And look back, keep your body straight, keep your back straight. Let's do this on the other side. So bring your right foot under your left leg and place it next to your left hip. Your left foot comes next to your right knee. Place your right uh, left hand behind your back and twist backwards. Keep your back as straight as possible. And release. Now come back into boat pose. And fold your legs like you would do in the easy pose and then slowly come into table. And now come into downward facing dog. Lift up your right leg and bring your right knee, fold your leg and bring your right knee in between your hands. Let's come into pigeon pose. Breathe in, look up. And as you breathe out, bring yourself down on the mat and hold. Lift up your chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, come back into downward facing dog. Now lift up your left leg and fold your leg and then bring your knee in between your hands, on your side. And then come down as you breathe out. Breathe in and bring up your chest, lift up your chest. And as you breathe out, come into downward facing dog. Breathe in, come into plank position. And breathe out, come to Chaturanga and lie down on the mat. And then turn towards your side. So place your hand under your head. So you can turn towards your um, turn, uh, turn towards your right side, place your hand under your, yeah, your head, and then 
we're going to do some uh, leg exercises. So lift up your leg and place it down on the mat. So we're going to do five on each side. One, two, three, four, and five and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Great work. Let's do this on the other side. So turn around. And let's do this. One, two, three, four, and five. And hold it. One, two, three, four, and five. Now slowly turn, turn around and lie down on your back. Now we're going to do half bridge, say to Vandasana. And in this, what you're going to do is first you just need to make sure that your whole back is on the floor. So you just tilt your pelvic pelvis upwards a little bit so that you don't have a curve in your back. And then keep your feet away from your hips. Just fold them and keep them away from your hips. Yeah, fold your knees and yeah, keep your feet not too close to your hips so that you can go into half bridge. And then keep your palms next to your hips, palms facing downwards. And then bring up your hips. Make sure that your body is in one line. Hold it there. Really squeeze your glutes, squeeze your pelvic muscles and hold it. And then slowly come down to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Let's do five of these. Again, lift up your hips, hold. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. And then let's come down to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Very good. One more time, let's do it. Lift up, squeeze, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your pelvic floor. And then come down. One, two, three, four. Again, lift up, squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can, and then come down. One, two, three, four. Two more times, lift up, squeeze as tight as you can. And then one, two, three, four, last one. Lift up, squeeze as tight as you can, hold it, hold it, Just keep squeezing. And then one, two, three, four, very good. Now just bring your knees next to your, uh, close to your chest, hold them with your hands and rock side to side. And then slowly uh, place your feet on the mat. Uh, keep your knees folded. So keep your feet in the same position as before. Now uh, lift up your right leg and place your right ankle on top of your left knee and then bring your left knee close to your chest and weave your hands your right hand through your leg and hold interlock your fingers on top of your left leg and bring it as close to your body as you can you should feel a very good stretch on your glute muscle here so this is very good to do after especially the bridge that we did before And breathe in and breathe out.
and release. Let's do this on the other side. So lift up your left leg, place your left ankle on top of just above your right knee and do the same thing on the other side. So weave your fingers, hand through the leg, interlock your fingers. Bring them as close to your chest as possible. Feel the stretch on your left glute muscle, your hamstring. Really breathe into it. And release and come into Shavasana. Take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in and out. Completely drop your body on the mat. Feet are slightly apart, feet falling outwards. Palms are facing upwards, nose to the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Now bring your attention to your right toes, right foot, right ankle, right knee, right thigh, right hip, complete right leg. Observe your left foot, left ankle, left knee, left thigh, left hip, complete left leg, abdomen center, navel center, chest center, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Observe your right shoulder with your shoulder joint, right elbow, right wrist, right palm, right fingers, complete right arm. Observe your left shoulder joint, left elbow, left wrist, left palm, left fingers, complete left yeah. Chest center, throat center. Observe your chin, your lips, nose, tip of the nose cheekbones, temples, eyes, eyebrows, forehead, top of the head, back of the head, back of the neck, Complete head. Breathe in. 
Breathe out and relax. Complete body. Complete body. Release, release the harsh and pointed inner voice. It's just a throwback to the past and holds no truth about this moment. Let go of self-judgment, the old learned ways of beating yourself up for each imagined inadequacy. Allow the dialogue within the mind to, go, to grow friendlier and quiet. Shift out of inner criticism and life suddenly looks very different. I can say this only because I make the choice a hundred times a day to release the voice that refuses to acknowledge the real me. What's needed here is a more prodding towards perfection, but intimacy, seeing clearly and embracing what you see. Love, not judgment, sows the seeds of tranquility and change. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly bring your attention to your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. When you're ready, turn towards your right side. Keeping your eyes closed. Breathe in and out. And then taking the support of your left hand, sit up into easy pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's bless the world with this beautiful positive energy. Join your palms in front of your chest. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta. Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms together, generate the heat. Place your palms on top of your eyes and slowly looking through the gaps of your fingers, open your eyes with a big smile. Awesome.